In this tutorial video, I'm going to explain how you can do 8.4.5 from page 127 of Compute IT2. Now, this task requires you to create a program which asks a user their name and then asks them to select from a bunch of different periods, and finally, it presents their star sign to them based upon whichever period they selected. So we will start by navigating to a compiler. I will be using REPL. I'll select Python and I can call it 8.4.5. Good idea to keep your REPLs nicely organized. Then we are going to start by creating a list and the list will be called st star sign name. Okay, then we're going to use equals and use a square bracket and we will put in all of the star signs, so Aries and so forth. For the purposes of the tutorial, I'm just gonna copy and paste all the star signs which I've done already. If you don't know the star signs, you can probably just uh, Google them. Okay, so we've got all the star signs there. Then we're gonna use name equals input, and we're gonna ask the user what their name is and save that as the name variable. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to print a whole bunch of different options. So we'll tell them choose the number that shows your birth date. So we'll allow the user to enter the number that shows their birth date. Then we're going to print all the different periods for each star sign. So for example, March 21 to April 19 is for Aries. And you're going to do this for all of the different star signs, each of which corresponds to a different period of the year. I'm just going to copy and paste them from elsewhere to make this more efficient. Um, and then down here, we're going to create a, another variable called star sign and we're going to use an integer because we're going to select a number. And so basically whichever number the user enters, one, two, three, four, and so forth, is going, going to correspond to the items of the list. So if they select three, then it's going to correspond to Gemini up here, or at least that's what we want. First, we've got to put in input, meaning the user's going to type in a number, and we're going to print this message so they know what to do. Choose the number above of your birth date. Now, we're going to put a negative one here because you may not know, Python begins counting at zero. So actually, this one will be zero, and this one will be one, and this one will be two, unless we tell it to reduce every single one by one. So right when we go minus one, instead of this one being one, it becomes two. And instead of this one being zero, it becomes one. That's why we need to put negative one here. Okay, almost ready. Finally, we'll go print. Hello. And then we're going to call the name variable. Um, so whatever name the user inputted will print here. Welcome. And finally, we'll print to them their star sign. And to print their star sign, we're going to refer, we'll leave a space here so it looks grammatically correct. We're going to combine two things. We're going to combine this and we're going to combine this list in order to print their star sign. So star sign name and star sign. And it looks like there's no errors in our code. Let's give it a whirl and check how it goes. And then it's got all the dates. Okay, we'll enter the number four. So if we enter four here, then it should correspond to one, two, three, four, and give us cancer over here. Okay, so your star sign is cancer. 